Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, welcome to Tech Field Day. As you heard over the next two days, we have an awesome agenda plan for you that we've spent a few months putting together, uh, focused on primary storage and VxRail HCI from Dell Technologies. I see some familiar names out there. Uh, so thank you for, for joining from across the globe. If we haven't met yet, um, my name is Shannon Champion. I have the privilege of leading product marketing for this portfolio. My mission here today is to do the setup work, really to introduce you to best in class storage offerings and provide an overview on our point of view around modern infrastructure. Remember, I'm in marketing, so this will probably be one presentation that includes some of the why it matters content versus the hardcore technical user based product details that you're all anxious to hear from our technical experts over the next two days. But I will only take less than 15 minutes, so let's just jump right in. In talking with customers, we find there's typically two desired infrastructure needs for their businesses. One, to deliver IT with the agility of cloud, and two, to achieve business outcomes for any workload anywhere. Pretty basic. I think it's all encompassing. Everyone would kind of agree to this. But really what we wanted to do is dive deeper and really ask what's driving value for your organization. And we see it typically in these four buckets. We ask, you know, is it about optimizing operations and automating as much as possible to drive efficiencies so you can focus your resources in another area in IT rather than maintaining the infrastructure? That's really the, the, crux, the crux of operational efficiency. Or is it about, you know, embracing the hybrid cloud operating model and rapidly and easily deploying on-demand services and scaling seamlessly without limits? Is it more about optimizing workloads and modern applications to drive business innovation? Or is it about unlocking new value from AI in the edge? And unsurprisingly, most customers want all of this. Uh, and if you look at the industry data, it's supporting it too. IDC is showing that half of all organizations worldwide have an executive mandate to support hybrid cloud environments. This is really indicating most organizations see value in both data center and public cloud. And the more we can bring those operations together into a common hybrid cloud experience and one that can really run modern and traditional applications and workloads, that's where we need to get to. But when we talk about the edge, we that's not a standalone thing anymore. Gartner is predicting, if you think about enterprise generated data that's created and processed outside a traditional centralized data center or the cloud, today that number is 10%. By 2025, Gartner's predicting that number to be 75%. So massive explosion in edge. How do you do it? We believe it starts with modern infrastructure. We have a point of view. Um, Dell Technologies has you covered. We have a complete portfolio of industry leading infrastructure offers. We have end to end global support and services, flexible consumption, supply chain leadership that's really only available from Dell Technologies. This makes us the mo most complete IT solution provider. We are proud very proud to be number one in storage, compute, HCI, CI, data protection, among other categories. And that's really a differentiator for us. Our primary storage and hyperconverged infrastructure, that uh, portfolio that I looked after is award-winning and it really is empowering IT organizations to evolve and become an innovation engine for their own businesses. So for Tech Field Day, we're gonna dive into PowerStore, PowerMax and VxRail, which are our flagship offers. And I'll highlight them each in a bit more in a moment, just from a setup perspective, and let the experts dive in deeper. Um, when we think about the forces changing the way IT operates, there are a lot of them out there. And now more than ever, there's a need for speed. So ESG is, did a study and 76% of IT decision makers are identifying that they have to deploy applications, infrastructure, and services at least 25% faster than they did three years ago. So speed of operations is clearly critical, but at the same time, complexity is slowing them down. So 64% of IT decision makers agreed that the complexity of their infrastructure environment is slowing down IT operations and digital initiatives. 
So how do you how do you change that um, dynamic? Integrated intelligence has the power to kind of change the game for IT, accelerating business growth for those who leverage it. This is talking about intelligence integrated at every level within our storage technologies across the entire infrastructure through to DevOps and ITSM processes in the ecosystem. This is the way that you'll get automation and intelligence for consistent operations across edge, on-premises, data centers, and in the cloud. Hey, Shannon, this is Ray Lucchese. Um, how are you doing? I, I was just going back to something you commented on earlier, which I guess was a quote from Gardner, and you said 75% uh, of all IT activity will be at the edge by 2025? Enterprise generated data will be pro created and processed outside of the traditional data center or cloud by 2025. Okay, so all, you know, 75% of the data will be generated outside of uh, the enterprise. That's right. And the cloud by 2020. It still seems very aggressive. I mean, uh, yeah, 5G and all that stuff rollout is all, all going to make a big difference there, but still 75% of all data. Well, yeah, who am I to disagree with Gardner? Okay, thanks. <laughs> We're 10% today. I mean, there are other sources too. I mean, I think we can all agree that it's exploding, whether it's 75% or 65% or 50%, it's going to grow massively today. And I think some of the technology trends are, are definitely accelerating it, but just work trends, right? If you think about work from home and other initiatives of, you know, everyone is literally working everywhere in the world right now. Um, and businesses are changing their whole structure in terms of how they're delivering value to customers. If you think about, you know, how did we, uh, you know, get groceries over the last year and a half? How do we, you know, take advantage of, um, you know, commuting? The whole dynamic is shifting. And I think, um, you know, the, the dynamics of the environment are contributing in addition to emerging technologies. All right. Thanks. Yeah. So back to um, in integrated intelligence, when we look at um, primary storage and HCI, where for that portfolio, it means built-in AI into the infrastructure itself for a programmable infrastructure and automation. So a couple examples, and you're going to go way deeper beyond me, um, but PowerStore has a dynamic resiliency engine, and that helps customers maintain performance while safeguarding against dual drive failures providing up to 98% less management effort compared to tr traditional environments. And with the X-Rail, the automated operations and full stack lifecycle management allows teams to be up to 68% more efficient. So this is an element that's really driving efficiency. Infrastructure insights also come from proactive monitoring, machine learning, and predictive analytics. And that's across our portfolio. So. Um, to proactively monitor and analyze Dell tech infrastructure across your data center, you can count on Cloud IQ. That's what's providing that. And now it includes proactive cybersecurity notifications and recommendations, obviously a hot topic these days. And we've done some research uh, with our existing Cloud IQ users that Cloud IQ is speeding time to resolution for those customers by between double and up to 10x faster time to resolution using Cloud IQ. And just to kind of wrap this all up, integrating with open management frameworks allows for a truly agile development process too. So more consistent operations and user experience across edge, on-premises data centers and clouds with plugins for things like PowerShell, Ansible and vRealize orchestration. So you can automate across the entire ecosystems and spin up developer environments in minutes rather than kind of days and building that empowering developers, but really building that relationship between developers and IT administrators with more self-service and consuming infrastructure as code. So integrated intelligence is just one example of our innovation. We have been on an ever increasing pace of innovation, some of which you're gonna hear more about today and tomorrow, so we can deliver that best in class modern infrastructure, helping our customers unlock innovation, adapt and grow their businesses, like some of the examples we just talked about. 
We believe our innovation is helping our customers innovate faster with leading innovation like intelligent infrastructure. We're helping them be ready for the data era with unmatched flexibility, the broadest choice in storage infrastructure so we can literally um, support any workload and offer flexible consumption. And we're helping customers invest with confidence with the best investment protection. Being number one means we're trusted by more customers globally and we're backed by the most comprehensive guarantees. So that's the portfolio update. Um, again, welcome. This is just a summary of what's in store. I'm sure you guys have seen the agenda, but we really designed this purposely to be in 15 to 20 minute sessions that um, are interactive, but really easily consumable. Uh, day one, as you know, is focused on Power Store and Power Max. Day two is dedicated to VxRail. And we have, we're going to dive into areas like automation, orchestration, VMware integration, including for Power Store, data and cloud mobility, Apex, which I'm sure you've heard a bunch about, Cloud IQ that I just mentioned, as well as really highlighting our unique technologies and capabilities, like how to do flexible storage with HCI, and even into workloads like SQL, NVIDIA, GPU intensive workloads, and Kubernetes. So I'm really excited about the agenda. I hope you are too. Uh, before we do, I need to just close with a brief intro of our featured products. So I'm going to hit on PowerStore, PowerMax, and VxRail. Um, when we set up modern uh, enterprise storage, we are seeing that now more than ever, scalability and flexibility are critical to support the application environments and allow diverse set of workloads to be consolidated. So when we look at the different storage approaches and how they align to each workload category, the first approach we see is basic storage, which we characterize as being lower cost, simple to use. These architectures tend to have active passive controller designs and are kind of limited in the workloads they can support and how big they can scale, but they generally deliver good performance and availability at a more attractive price point. As the application demands have increased, a lot of organizations now are turning to enterprise storage architectures. This is where the majority of the, uh, the market demand is. Um, some of the reasons here, you know, they have an active, active controller design. So they have greater workload flexibility, ability to scale up and scale out, consistent high performance and high availability. And of course, more investment is needed here based on basic storage, but it's easily justified for the workloads that are critical to the business that demand enterprise storage. And as I mentioned, the majority of application needs can be met within this category, but there are applications clearly that many organizations rely on to run their business. They're mission critical. And the storage infrastructure has to be always on, always available, always performing. And for that, uh, we have this enterprise plus storage architecture category that are built to do just that. Multiple active active controller designs, support for a wider range of operating environments, massive scalability. So more advanced and capable of delivering that extreme performance obviously requires the most investment, but they're really unmatched when it comes to delivering the performance availability and consolidation needed for that category. Hey, um, Shannon, is, is mainframe still a, a big component or a marketplace in storage? I mean, obviously it still has a, a lock on some of the enterprise applications and stuff, but. Yes, mainstream is, mainframe is still a, a good big business for Dell. Um, when we're characterizing this, it doesn't include our entire portfolio, just the you know enterprise, modern enterprise storage categories here, but Certainly, we have uh, Unity and Power Vault that are not here, as well as Mainframe and uh, some of the other storage technologies. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. So, um, focusing on PowerStore and PowerMax, since that's what you're going to hear more about today, um, hopefully, you know already know that our flagship offers PowerStore. It's all flash storage optimized for both general purpose applications as well as more demanding business critical workloads, excellent flexibility that really eliminate some of the trade-offs in performance scalability and storage proficiency efficiency that organizations sometimes face. I mentioned it's backed by the most comprehensive guarantees with anytime upgrade and power stores on fire. So if you haven't um, seen, it's currently the fastest ramping new storage architecture in Dell's history. 
We've already won two product of the year awards, and there's a diverse set of industries that are represented with sales across 90 countries so far in Power Store. So we're really excited about the momentum there. And at the same time, customers who have those mission critical workloads or massive consolidation projects, um, they're turning to Power Max, which is still considered by many as the gold standard for that enterprise plus storage category. And on the HCI side, it also should be no surprise our flagship offer here is VX Rail, and that's what we are focusing more on day two here. VX Rail designed to dramatically simplify operations and extend and enhance VMware environments. That hasn't changed. Uh, we have over 12,000 customers now that have deployed more than 160,000 nodes. These customers are recognizing the benefits shown here, lower operational costs, more productivity in delivering applications and continued strong ROI. So the rapid pace in VxRail adoption continues to outpace the market and, and drive our leadership in HCI. And we're going to talk about a lot of the technology components and differentiation and the reason behind that as we dive into day two here. So by the end of tomorrow, I hope you will agree Dell Technologies infrastructure has you covered with um, the ability to deliver IT with the agility of cloud for any workload anywhere. Before you go, a couple of slides back, you had the the basic and enterprise and enterprise plus chart. You didn't have anything in the basic category. Was that was that correct? So we are focusing on Power Store and Power Max to set Today. up. Okay. For the tech field day, yes, we have offers in basic storage with Power Vault and Unity. All right, I got you. Yep, no problem.